In this video, I'm going to show you how to annotate an image in Google Draw and then insert that image into a Google Doc. Uh, sometimes you might have an image that you want to put into a Google Doc and you have things that you want to point out about what you see in that image. You can't really do that very successfully in Google Docs. However, here's how you do it in Google Draw. So this is my image that I want to annotate right down here, this screenshot. What I do is first of all I make sure I'm in my drive and maybe in a specific folder that I know I'm going to want to put all of this in. So I'm going to just open up Glass Humanities here. I go up here to the red Create button. And when I click on that I see down at the bottom of the first column is Drawing. That's what I want to open up. And once this is opened, which might just take a moment here, there we go. I want to import that image that I just showed you into this drawing document. So I can do this a couple different ways. Either I can go insert and drop down to image or probably just even easier than that. You'll notice right here is my little image icon. So when I open that up, I'm going to have a couple of different locations to choose from, one of which is my drive. And now I just need to find that screenshot, and here it is. So I select it. And now, again, might just have to wait a moment, but it is going to eventually open up in my Google Drawing, eventually. And once it's in there, as I will show you, there are a number of different things you can do in terms of marking specific places on the screen and or on the image and adding text to the image itself. Okay, so that took a little bit of time, but we finally have it. So now the image is right here in my Google Draw. So you'll notice when I click on it up at the top here in my toolbar, I have a whole bunch of different things that I can do. And what I want to do is point out a couple of things that I really like about the techniques I see this person, Dan Eldon, doing in this journal page he has created. So, for example, I can click on my line tool here and go down to arrow. And one thing I want to note is this Superman figure that he has here. And that arrow seems pretty uh, thin. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger and maybe I'll make it red just so it stands out. And I want to be able to, whoop, didn't mean to do that. I want to, and I didn't mean to do that either. Okay, I want to say something about the Superman. So if you notice, I just clicked on my little text box tool here. That's how you can actually have text on the drawing is you have to use the text box tool. And once I have that, I, I see all my fonts and everything pop up. And I'm going to say great use of color pops out against the black and white. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And I'm going to add one more note here. So again, if I click on my image, I'm going to go to the shape tool and I'm going to pick out the oval and I just want to put that oval around a number of these crazy looking guys below the Superman. Now you'll notice when I make that shape it's filled in but I don't want it to be filled in. I want it to be transparent. That's very simple to change. You'll see right up here is my little paint bucket and it says fill color. And the option at the very top of that fill color box is transparent. So if I click on transparent, okay great. Now I can see them all. And once again maybe I'll make the line of the oval a little bit thicker and red so it stands out. And then I'm going to go back to
into my arrow tool and draw an arrow specifying that I have a note that goes along with this. Again, make that arrow a little bit bigger. Okay, so with my text box, what do I want to say about this image or this uh, uh, part of the journal page? Um, good use of movement. They are going left while Superman flies to the right. Sounds good. Okay. So I can obviously continue to add in, fill in other things that I like about this image, but I'm just going to stop right there and show you what I do now in order to get this annotated image into my Google Doc. Really easy. I go over here to edit and about a little over halfway down on edit you'll see web clipboard and when I hover on that I have some options and one is copy entire drawing to web clipboard that is the one that I want so I click on that now I'm gonna just close this all together and I'm gonna go back into my drive and I'm gonna find the document that I was working on and it's right here There we go. So I started to type. Here are some things I noticed regarding Dan Eldon's technique in his journal. And what I would like to do instead of just talking about those things is show that, right, with my image. So I'll put my cursor here where I want the image to go. I go back to edit again. And when I click on edit, you'll see again my web Oh, this time. Okay, my web clipboard opens up. And when I hover over that, I can come down and you'll see drawing. And when I hover over drawing, a little image pops up to show me which drawing that is referring to. And that's exactly the one that I want. So I simply click. You can see pasting from server. And here it is. Now, of course, you'll notice that it's not really positioned the way that I would like it to be, but that is a very simple fix as well. When I click on the image, you'll notice that I have some choices here. One is wrap text. When I click wrap text, that allows me to move this text wherever I want it to go on my document. But I guess the other thing I'm going to have to do really quickly here is Tighten this up, make it a little smaller so it actually fits onto my document. And I don't want it to cover up my writing. And for some reason, oh, there's my writing. Okay. So it's being a little bit glitchy right now with allowing me to move it around. But you can see I ultimately am able to move it to where I want it to go. Just try one more time to get it below the writing. Well, I guess that's as close as I'm going to get it right now. Again, it's just being a little glitchy. But in any case, you'll see that that is exactly how I can get an image that I have annotated onto a Google Doc where I am talking about that image. So hopefully this was helpful, and I appreciate watching. Thanks.